Welcome to another Subtex video. Uh, we're back with Ethiopian coffee, which is very exciting for us here at Subtex. Um, we have Mohamed Abanura, and for those who don't know, um, and you may notice, I'm saying a single producer's name, and that's very rare in Ethiopia. Um, usually what happens in Ethiopia is coffee is given by hundreds or thousands of producers to a washing station, and then it gets shipped out uh, with the washing station's name. Mohammed's farm is located on the western part of Ethiopia, in Jima, uh, or on the western uh, part of the Rift Valley. On the other side of the Rift Valley, you find other very known places such as Guji, uh, Sidama, or Gedeo. Jima, uh, as you may know, it's the home of the JARC, which is the Jima Agricultural Research Center. And they are responsible for many of the work done in Ethiopia when it comes to coffee. Um, they are responsible for identifying and propagating disease-resistant varieties. Not only Mohammed's coffee is a single producer coffee, but it also happens to be a single variety coffee. If you may remember Kecho Andaracha number one and Kecho Andaracha two, uh, those were washed and honey processed, uh, and Mohammed's coffee happens to be a natural process. So if you had those coffees before, you already tried three coffees from Jima, uh, wash, honey process, and natural process. Now, by natural process, we mean it's one of the most traditional coffee uh, processings in coffee, when it's hand-picked and then just dried with the skin on, not depulped or anything. Um, so it's just basically like a dried fruit on a uh, raised bed. Uh, in this instance, it's dried for 20 days. Uh, very controlled fermentation by Mohammed, but in other instances, you can, when it's a longer fermentation, longer drying time, you'll find more of those like very fermenty or very like funky notes, we call it, uh, we call it in coffee. Before I start brewing, uh, I want to say that this coffee requires just a coarser set ground setting. Um, Ethiopian coffee usually you have to go a little coarser than usual and if you have ground or coffee before, you or Ethiopian coffee, uh, you might be at a grind setting, but don't be afraid to go two, three, four clicks coarser than uh, you're used to. Uh, Mohammed, uh, I promise, requires a coarser grind setting, but it ends up in a very beautiful coffee. We're gonna start with the first pour, 30 grams of water, very slow, and then we're gonna give it a little swirl. You're gonna add another 150 grams of water, it's gonna get you to 180. You're gonna, gonna give it a little swirl again. And then the last pour, which is gonna take you to 256 grams. Okay, so let's look about the cup here, the end result. Uh, you know, Mohammed, it's a very clean, juicy coffee. Uh, has notes of peach, mango, very, uh, like some, some notes of black tea, um, which, those are notes you find in washed coffees, and by contrast, we also put uh, Miesa, uh, which also happens to be in our subscription box, and that's why we put them uh, together in the box, to, for you guys to be able to you know, taste two natural, single producer Ethiopian coffees, um, but they all, they both are really different. Um, you know, Miesa has a lot more fruit, lots of more intensity in the cup, Whereas Mohammed, very clean, very juicy, uh, lots of clarity in the cup, uh, but it's a natural processed coffee. And that's it. Uh, we'll see you guys in another video. Bye.